Let's talk about injector dead time and what that really means. So basically injector dead time is the time from when you tell it to turn on to when it actually opens. Why do we recommend the Holly driver? To be clear, we don't care what system you have. We don't care if it's a Holly, a fuel tech, a Hall tech, or so on and so forth. We only want to have a driver that's adequate for our injector. Some ECUs don't necessarily have all the programmability you need in order to properly operate one of the Avis injectors. The fuel that flows at low base pressure. Some of the smaller internal injectors, you have to run a big high base pressure of say 90 in order to get the, the advertised flow. Well, our stuff flows at 43 and a half. The driver will come up and peak. Let's say that's an eight amp target, right? So it'll peak at eight amps. And as soon as it reaches the, the target, it drops to its hold. In this case, let's just say two amps. That's all great when you have a small internal injector that, that's moving fast. What's happening is the injector is on its way open and it's not quite all the way open and you take the current away. So then it says, well, that's as far as we're going. We're not, we're not going to open all the way. The Holly driver is the only external driver we've found that has the, the peak hold time. The current comes up, it reaches its eight amp target, then it holds it at peak for one millisecond and then it goes to its hold. Well, now the injector is on its way open and gets to fully open because of that 